I'm out here labeling these damaged hoses, using the process of elimination to narrow down what hose assemblies match up to the diagrams. Some of these I was lucky enough to find part numbers that I could glean off of, but quite a few of them, one side of the hose was completely destroyed or missing. I'm taking what info I can find and trying to coordinate that with my spreadsheet and part drawing so I can figure out what hose belongs to what. Then I'm putting that info into the spreadsheet so I can compare the quotes I get from Parker compared to the Genie Dealer. We just dropped the hoses off at the Parker store. Most of these hoses come from Parker, so I thought it would be kind of fair for maybe Parker to try quoting them. They're probably still going to be a little higher than uh, maybe a, a one-off shop, but I wanted to make sure I got the right fittings. And I assume since they're their assemblies, maybe they'll make them right. I ended up going with Parker as they gave me a rough quote of somewhere between 1000 and 1800 for all these hoses and the Genie parts dealers I had quoted were coming in around 5k. What's great is that they had all of these hoses completed in about a week and my final price was around $1400. Okay, so the plan here is to label all of the hoses. I've got my drawings with all the hydraulic lines. I'm gonna label the hoses that I got from the hydraulic place, and then that way I can correlate everything back. I think it'll make it easier. I'm gonna study the videos, the way that the hoses came out in reverse, so I can kind of number which way they go back in. So let's start by labeling the hoses. So I'm going to clean this top deck off, remove those bolts and take a look in that tank just to make sure that it looks okay. So hopefully this rubber seal is reusable, but I want to clean around it. Okay, you can see around the rim, it's kind of rusted out, but the Internal seal looks okay. I mean, I'm gonna snip away some of that stuff so it doesn't fall into the tank. But, come in here and look, you can see there's some, there's some junk in the tank. So I'm gonna try to pump that out. There's the hole up here. So I wanna make sure that gets cleaned out. And uh, see what I need to really clean this up. As you can see here, this was an extremely uncomfortable and awkward area to get into. So I kept taking turns with my wife cleaning out a little bit at a time so we could get through this and not totally hurt ourselves. I don't like how this rim has rusted. This one was from when we did pasture stuff today. That one, that one's from pasture stuff. But that one is from the tank.
this is the moment we've been waiting for. We are gonna start putting hydraulic lines back on. Yay! Oh, it's been a long process. God, six, seven, eight months? I don't know. Just got too hot. I didn't want to be out here when it was hot, I know, but it was in the 100 plus degrees. It's not really fun to work on this. And hopefully with all the random things I've been doing around this, it'll just start to come together very quickly. That's the hope. What I've got here is a list of all of the hoses, the part numbers, and I looked at the past videos to see which way they came off, then reverse that, and then I've got an order for installation. We labeled all the hoses, so that will correlate to a part number. I can look that up on our parts diagrams, see what they are, everything all correlates, and hopefully this will go okay. So here we go. We're looking for 1422. Oh my God, all those treats in my pocket. Oh my God, they hurt like hell. Oh, okay. have to check for because I put silicone plugs in a lot of these. So that would be unfortunate if I left one in here. Which I did. Oh, that would have been awful. There we go. Got it? Yep. Now it's pouring hydraulic oil all over the place. Oh, this one got way up in there. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's not drop it on my face. Is that my leverage bar? There we go. I guess now that I've got it out, I can really clean the threads. So let's do that. Don't make me go back. Oh, God, please don't make me. Put on the next one in order. Yeah, but I'm just thinking those run through here, mm -hmm. and I need to get one on there. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking it might be easier to just get that one on. Mm, biting this thing. Oh yeah. Smooth son of a bitch. Does the winch fit in here? Uh, no. Oh yeah, that's... This was the right call to do this one right now. The only problem is, good lord help me if it leaks. Why do you say that? Because I will have to disconnect all the hoses. Well then put it together properly so it don't leak. Is that, is that what I need to do? Yeah, yeah. see any plug in there so hopefully <laughs> oh my god did the ants eat it I mean I can see into the cylinder so okay. it either is lives in the cylinder now or it was never there this hose has two similar ends correct yeah okay so just pass you any which one yeah just pass me one dearie
right, so we taped all of these ends up because it's gonna be a few weeks before we probably get the pump set to where it's gonna be. Also, I left the other ends of most of these that have specific angles loose on the other side, so we had some adjustments, so we'll need to go back through and make sure we tighten every hydraulic hose, otherwise it's probably gonna leak all over the place. We cleaned the ends and then taped them. Unfortunately, the shop that made these, they just zip tied them to the other cable that they copied off of, and the other cables were covered in oil, and so all that stuff got in the threads and ends, and uh, so that was kind of a nightmare. So if you ever go and have hoses made on your own, make sure that they Tape the ends up before they attach them to anything. It'll just, it'll make your life a lot easier. So we did it. We got all the new hoses in, except for one, because I'm missing an adapter that I think I took off a hose and then set somewhere. So I might have to order another one or clean the garage. So probably order another one. Anyhow, all the hoses are in. It took a lot longer. I thought it'd only take a couple hours. By the time we cleaned both ends of the hoses off, it just was, it was just difficult. Just well, I guess not difficult, but time consuming. But my order for the most part worked as far as getting stuff where they needed to be. The next thing we wanna do is get these engine mounts on and then we can set the engine. So that's gonna be super exciting. I need to go find the mounts and the right bolts and get those on here. Let's get going. I've got all these components and everything listed. Fortunately, my phone number is on it. Damn it. I have all the diagrams and they tie into... Really? Ow. You okay? <laughs> no, I just hit my head. I hit my head on that. Look at your hair. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> do you wanna do like a uh, thanks for subscribing? No, yeah, I think I wanna be more positive in here. <laughs> you are mad at me. You think I don't see you, but I do. <laughs> I'm uh, ready for your help. I think she's coming back. <laughs> 